Well, it's that time of month again. A little bit later than normal in the month, but Nerd Block has arrived. Uh, now, this is the June Nerd Block, and uh, anybody that's been following the stuff in Nerd Block, they know that these shipments have been a, bit, a little bit late coming out and a little bit disappointing. So, I have no idea what's going to be in this one yet. We're going to crack it open. Um, but basically, what's happening is Nerd Block's potentially having some problems with some of their suppliers, they're not getting product on time. And as a result, the shipments are being delayed, and some of the items that are being sent out are duplicate items, which they promise to replace in future blocks. So let's crack it open and see what it looks like. Now this is the third revision of the Nerd Block box that I've seen as long as I've been receiving it. The original ones I received, uh, they may have been under the title Arcade Block, and it looked like an original Nintendo um, then they released a uh, one that was a dark gray slash black, and now we've got this white on blue um, color scheme. Oh, interesting. This is not, in fact, the uh, the uh, June box. This is actually the birthday box that I ordered about a month, month and a half ago. Um, so this is the Ghostbusters themed one. So there's going to be four or five Ghostbusters themed items in here. We'll just Give them a quick look. Right off the bat, we have a Titan Merchandise Ecto-1. Uh, it's a 4.5 centimeter? No, 4.5 inch, sorry. Um, model. It's a little cartoonish. The detailing looks pretty good. Go ahead and crack open the box and take a look at it firsthand. Alas, the plastic knife does not want to cut through the sticker. It gave it its best shot though, right? Hmm. There we have it. So it's made of um, rubber, basically. It's uh, compressible. You can see there's a hole in the bottom to let air escape when it's pressed on. Um, the colors are nice and vibrant on it. Uh, not sure what's happening here. There's some paint missing off of one of the uh, one of the rear fins there. Overall, though, the detail level is pretty good. You know, for a cartoonish item like that. So yeah, if uh, that's the type of design you're into, then I think that would be good for you. Next, we have a Nerd Block exclusive which is a screen cleaning cloth, which is also going to be Ghostbusters themed. Now that looks like, uh, based on the new movie Ghostbusters, there's some shadowing and stuff on the uh, Ghostbusters logo. And it's just a standard microfiber cleaning cloth with who you're going to call printed on the back of it. And the other side is just a uh, Slimer Green. It's not bad though, that's good to keep around. I wear glasses, so that'll come in handy, I would think. Uh, next we have a Stay Puff Marshmallow Man plushie, which is... I've gotten a few that were like this, um, so obviously it's a design choice, so it's not just badly put together. They end up looking pretty derpy. You can see the eyes there, they're kind of just haphazardly stitched on. Um, I feel bad for him, his uh, bib, or whatever you want to call it, keeps flipping up and hitting him in the face. We don't like that. And again, you know, just a, a cheap little plushie. There's not a ton of detail on him. He's got the, the rings and stuff like that. He looks the part. Uh, too much starch in his bib. Other than that, not too, too bad. And the eyes again. The eyes are derpy. Next we have the Tobin Spirit Guide, which was apparently written by Ray Stance, Egon Spangler, and Eric Burnham, and illustrated by Cole Hotz. This is the official Ghostbusters edition. Don't want the unofficial one because that one's not going to get you saved in the event of a Ghostbuster, er, in the event of a ghost apocalypse. Well, the artwork in this is pretty good. I like the uh, black and white theming in the pictures. I 
I like that there's basically uh, full stories that seem to be written up on each of the different types of uh, ghost and spirit. I think I'll actually read some of this. The detailing on the front's good. The uh, ghost, I don't know if you can tell, has a different finish than the rest of the book. So when you tilt it left or right, it catches the light um, and reflects significantly more of it. And last but not least, oh, sorry, maybe not last, certainly not least, is a Ghostbusters apron. So this is a Peter Venkman uniform apron. Uh, it's an adult size, one size fits all. Now being a bigger guy, I'm going to bet it's a one size fits most type scenario. We're ruining the collectability of things today, lads. There you go. The, um, the colors are very, very good on this. The There's no bleeding in between the fabrics. The material is thick, feels fairly durable. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, I think the detail level on that's fantastic. I like that. That's well done. Now last, but not least, we have a frameable piece of Ghostbusters artwork. Look at that. Uh, so this looks like, well, so here's the interesting thing. Some of the stuff is definitely based off of the cartoon, but then we have Gozer on the Roof with Stay Puft from the first movie. We have, I believe that's supposed to be the Scolari brothers from the second one. So it's kind of a mashup between the, uh, first two movies and the, um, cartoon series. Well, colors on that are pretty good. Um, it's more... It's not a particularly vibrant piece, it's uh, kind of more reserved, but uh, the detail level again on this is pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's worthy of being put on a wall. That's all she wrote. So that was the Ghostbusters birthday block that I ordered about a month, month and a half ago. Um, I thought there was only four items in it. Uh, it's impossible, or it's possible that they've kicked in an extra item. I'll have to take a look and see. But overall, it's uh, not a bad twenty dollars spent with the shipping. Alrighty. So again, I'm James from Print and Play. Thanks for sticking around to the end. If you like this unboxing, why not toss me a thumbs up? There we go. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd be glad if you stuck around and don't forget to click the bell so that you get notified whenever I put out new content. And uh, if you have something, another block you want me to look at in the future, toss it in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Alright, until next time, stay creative.